Hendrick Motorsports and Call Racing get huge penalties after last weekend at Phoenix they were found with a legal hood vent. So we have a lot to talk about in today's In the Fence. Hey guys, welcome back to the video, and today we are going to be talking about the enormous penalties that Henry Motorsports uh, just got, and uh, obviously also Colley with the 31 car, Justin Haley. So all 400 cars at Phoenix, if you don't remember, were caught with illegal um, cheating, um, like hood vents, I think they are. So, and yeah, NASCAR confiscated them, and it took until Wednesday, but the penalties were announced today. All four cars, and, and like with driver and owner points, except Chase Elliott, it's only owner points for Chase Elliott, I'm pretty sure have been uh, fined 100 points. So that is huge, especially for the early of the season. That is huge. So Kyle Larson, I'm pretty sure, was like top five in points. He's 32nd now. And now Justin Haley even is negative 40-something points. That's insane. Justin Haley is negative points now. Like, he's not like he's a college car, obviously. The highest um, header car in the points now is 23rd, Alex Bowman. And by the way, Alex Bowman was your points leader yesterday. Now he's 23rd in points. That is insane. So, Henry Motorsports, enormous penalties. Also, the crew chiefs were all suspended, fine $100,000 each. Um, an absolutely enormous penalties. They're going to try to um, appeal all this, I, but I kind of do doubt that it will go through. I know they're Hendrick Motorsports and everything, and they are sort of favored by NASCAR, I feel like, sometimes, but I doubt this will go through. NASCAR has been really, really, like, open about how they want to, like, handle all the modified parts in the next-gen cars. They're really serious about this, and Hendrick broke all the rules with all four cars, and I think this is a deserved penalty, and I think it should say NASCAR should not listen to their appeals. But just absolutely huge penalties for the Hendrick cars. So Chase Elliott, he's lucky he didn't get any driver's points uh, taken away with him because he probably would have been like with Justin Haley, like negative 42 points or something back. So Chase Elliott's season would have been, just been over. Well, he already has to pretty much win. His season is over unless he has a win even now. But if he got those driver points, that would have even been worse for him. William Byron, I think he's like 29th in points now. He's still locked into the playoffs, technically. He's lucky they didn't have the top 30 rule because he got a, got, um, got in point, um, like, uh, find more points and the top 30 rule could have put him out of the playoffs even. So it's just crazy now that the Henry Motorsports car was leading the points just yesterday and now they're, the highest one is 23rd in points. That's unbelievable. So also another penalty, Denny Hamlin was fined, I think, $50,000 and 25 driver's points for, uh, putting Ross Chastain in the wall. Yeah, I don't know why it's that extreme for putting a guy in the wall that wrecked you about seven times last year. But yeah, um, Hamlin got no penalties or needed the Chastain from last year's stuff. So I don't know why we decided to start doing it now. Even though we all knew last year's stuff was all intentional, the exact same stuff as this year. So I don't know why we just decided to start doing it now. But okay, NASCAR. And then another penalty, Eric Alvarola from the wheel falling off. is the normal wheel falling off procedures. A ton of penalties. So, like, I think it was six cars that got penalized for this weekend at Phoenix. A lot of people were breaking the rules. I mean, one wasn't intentional, obviously, um, which was the 10 of Eric Amarola with the wheel falling off. So, obviously, they didn't want that to happen. The most intentional, obviously, was the Hendrick cars with the cheating. All four of them. I mean, if it was just maybe, like, I don't know, William Byron or Kyle Larson, just one of them, I don't think it would be this extreme. But it was every single Hendrick car had this issue. Um, and they're all complicated, and uh, also the Collie car of Justin Haley. I don't know why a John Modern had these issues, because it seemed like it would be like a team thing, but considering Hendrick had all four cars doing it, but I guess they were just testing like two different things with Collie, which I understand. So, um, yeah, so just absolutely huge penalties for those two teams. Five cars get docked to 100 owners and driver's points, except for Chase Elliott. He only gets um, docked owner's points, I'm pretty sure. If none of the Hendrick cars can perform again this season, the only one that will make the playoffs probably will be William Byron. There, a, a bunch of them are really going to need to win races now, especially Chase Elliott. He's obviously in a must-win now. Kyle Larson, I think he's like 40 points below the cut line now. He's right by Koei on the on the points, so yeah, that's never good. Um, so he's 30 seconds, so well, Larson's at a big deficit. Um, Byron's really lucky he won. Bowman is a big deficit, and... Elliot obviously is a big deficit. So huge new set was just broke today. All the um, Hendrick cars and the Collie cars and all the other penalties today. So that were broke. So yeah, huge penalties. Um, this will all take effect in Atlanta. So the new points were just released. So Kevin Harvick is your new points leader. I think Ross Chastain's now second. So the driver's moving up the points. You got two of the RFK cars in top 10. They've started the season very strong. So watch out for Ash Fenwick and Kislowski racing the rest of the season. I think they would have a great shot to get both their cars into the playoffs. And I think Kislowski could make a pretty deep playoff run. 
Not sure about the speed on Busher though. Uh, he has good speed, but it's not as good as Kosowski. And I think uh, I don't think I think he could make it like a very deep playoff run. But I think he could still have um, decent speed. So yeah, watch out for those Ras Fenway Kosowski cars. They're ninth and tenth now. So yeah, just major news today. He just this is a huge deficit for Hendrick. If this gets all appealed, everything goes away. I'm pretty sure, except maybe the suspensions or the. I no, I think it's the fines that go don't go away. First, sure that's the only thing that goes away. But this should not be appealed by NASCAR uh, at all. This this very deserved penalty. And yeah, they deserve got what they deserve for having all four cars trying to cheat. So yeah, that's basically just wrap up today's news. Huge news with um, Hendrick cars all cheating and then getting huge penalties. This is the biggest fines like in penalties um, for a four car team in NASCAR history. So that's how big this is. It's four hundred thousand dollars for all the crew chief um like fines and combines and then you got all those races they're suspended and then all the points are docked um just unbelievable amount of penalties around the motorsports so but yeah that'll just wrap it up colleague also gets the same thing so and yeah and then we talk about the other two penalties the less major ones so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching we'll subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye